Welcome to Module 5. This week we move past the midpoint in TECM 5191 with Module 5. You're going to be busy learning uh, about a new digital literacy to most of you. That has to do with video. You're also going to start work on your screencasting project. So let's get started. Okay, for this week, the Gantt chart shows you have a midweek deadline to complete a tutorial on the tool called Camtasia. By the end of the week, you'll submit a script and storyboard for the screencasting project, and then submit your discussion post about your activities in the module. I'll give you a few more specifics about your assignments in the next couple of slides. You'll do one tutorial this week to develop literacy in a screencasting tool. The Camtasia tutorial is available from LinkedIn Learning. Completing it means you'll earn a certificate that demonstrates your basic knowledge to potential employers. They estimate the time required to complete the tutorial at two and a half hours. The link and other details are in the assignment on Canvas. You'll develop a moderate level of literacy with Camtasia by applying your knowledge of the tool in the screencasting project. Let me begin by describing the requirements of the screencasting project. You're going to choose your own client by selecting a software product or service and creating a quick start guide for new users of that software. Your screencast must convey primarily procedural information and it must implement the principles of minimalism. These concepts are covered in both the reading and my lecture for Module 5. The screencast video you produce must be submitted as an MP4 file. It should be created with Camtasia, including audio narration. You can substitute background music if you let me know why that's your preference. The video has to include visual markers or special effects that help focus the user on the most important visual content for completing a step in a procedure. And finally, the video should run between 90 and 120 seconds. The project has interrelated assignments. All of them are completed as an individual. In Module 5, there are two pre-production assignments. You'll complete the Camtasia tutorial and create a script and storyboard. There's nothing due in Module 6, which is Thanksgiving week. However, you'll be busy with the production phase of the project. At midweek in Module 7, it's the deadline to submit your screencast video. The script and storyboard for your screencast is due at the end of the week. My lecture discusses why these are critical to produce a good screencast. I provided a template for you to use in the script and storyboard assignment description on Canvas. In this module overview, I want to spend a few minutes looking at some specifics in that template. Although I've revised it in several ways, I started with one provided to TechCom pros on the website TechWorld back in 2012. Along the top, you see a few important details like name of the project, the screencast creator included the name of the software, and a clear but concise description of the tasks in the tutorial. Another important detail is a brief description of the audience for this tutorial. Finally, the creator listed the estimated runtime and the screen size, recording size, of the final video. The rest of the template is a three column table. The middle column shows all the camera shots to be recorded. Because this is a screencast, screenshots, in other words, still images of the screen, are a great way to represent these. The creator of this video decided to begin by showing the Google search page. In other types of video, the creator would draw or use other illustrations to display the desired camera shots. The first column provides directions for recording. See how the user interaction is described? The creator described the shot as the full desktop and then each of the user's movements or actions on the Google search page. There are some other details here as well, including what special effects should be added when editing during post-production. There are none planned for this first shot. 
The third or final column includes the script. These are the words the narrator should say while the video shows the user's actions on the Google search page. The creator adds another row when the shot changes to a new screen. So after Audacity is downloaded and opened, this is what the user sees. Like in the first row, the creator added director's notes in the first column, this time including SFX or special effects to denote the cursor should be highlighted during editing. And again, the script for this camera shot was entered in the last column. If the creator wanted to add music, that information would also appear in this last column. The idea with a script and storyboard like this one is that someone else could provide feedback on the creator's plans. That type of review before spending time and money on production would be absolutely essential in the workplace. I've allocated four hours for your pre-production work on the script and storyboard this week. Just a word of warning before I end this intro to the screencasting project. These estimates from Cherry Leaf, a tech comm consulting company in Great Britain, help you understand the time required for production and post-production of a one-minute screencast video for user assistance. Of course, there can be great variation based on a variety of factors, but I want you to be aware of the amount of time required to produce just one minute of video. Note, these estimates don't include pre-production time. The requirements for the discussion post this week include, at the bottom there, number four, sharing your plans for improving self-regulated learning during the screencasting project. You might decide to continue with the same focus area from the single source project or choose a different one. Whatever your focus area, you're going to describe one specific technique you'll use to improve. There's a link to the same techniques handout that you saw in module two in the discussion assignment for module five. The post should take you around an hour. All right, you're going to be busy this week learning to use Camtasia. You're going to start the project by completing your script and storyboard. Use the assignment channel on Slack if you have questions. Or remember, you can always schedule a meeting with me if that would be helpful. Have a great week.